So I wanted to prove this morning that art can be done anywhere. So I've already said that, you know, I'm between houses, I don't have my studio space at the moment, and I'm working um, literally on my knee in somebody else's kitchen. So earlier this morning, I painted this. It's ready now, it's dry, it's ready for its next um, stage. And that's where I'm gonna put the detail on. So let's have a go at doing messy mandalas. So we've already got the circle shapes, we've got the concentric circles. So I'm going to just roughly mark with a pencil, very fine pencil lines, divide this circle out into segments. So just drawing it very lightly. It isn't perfect. The centre lines don't completely match up, but that's fine. That's half of the fun of the messy mandala. So we've got eight segments for the circle. So starting in the middle, we've got eight segments. So I'm going to just do eight little patterns right in the centre. And I'm going to do very simple petal shapes in each one of those centre segments. But bearing in mind that the lines didn't quite match up in the middle, this is already looking like a, a messy mandala because nothing's uniform, it's all a bit wobbly. But that's fine, that doesn't matter. So, um, yep, those petals are a little bit uneven, but that's fine. Just go over them again and uh, see what you've got. So the idea with a mandala is just to create patterns in circles all the way around. So I'm just going to go around and just do another layer of petal shapes um, and hopefully evening out those wobbly bits to start off with. So already it looks better, but go over the lines. I've got mine on watercolour paper, so sometimes the pen is a little bit rough. Um, just darken those lines. And if you're not quite happy with it, um, you can always colour it in, like I'm doing here. So I'm colouring that centre section in to cover a multitude of sins and uh, mistakes. So the pattern just develops by deciding what you're going to do on each new layer. Um, sometimes it's, it's helpful to put little dots where um, the lines cross, so you're keeping your pattern in it in the right direction and uh, and then draw to those dots so i'm doing elongated petal shapes now just in between those uh, previous petals so using each new color band as the next circle and just develop your pattern from there I'm going to speed the next bit up so you can see uh, in fast motion what happens, but it's just working out the pattern and developing it and taking one step at a time. So this is where I'm at now, so sitting on the sofa later in the day and I'm just continuing on adding more detail. I've coloured some bits in in, uh, in the black uh, to highlight those and just going around and adding in a little bit more detail in each one of the segments, building up the pattern as you go.
and that's where I decided to stop. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this process and it's inspired you to make some messy mandalas. <laughs>